Hi everyone, welcome to Hugh Spotlight. It's an exciting show today. We have Burnstick, we have Nadia and Jason. Thank you so much for popping by. Uh, this year's big, a new album, a beautiful single, Closer. Now I was debating whether is that Closer or Closer or... <laughs> closer, yeah. Closer. Someone else said that too. Yeah, Closer. closer. Thanks closer. for having us, by the yeah. way. Uh, well, hey, we're all about supporting local and you two have been working hard for a long time. Husband and wife too. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'll get right into mm -hmm. it. Husband and wife work together, play together, family time together. Uh, do you do anything on your own? All the time. <laughs> uh, yeah. 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 No, I think it's nice. It's good for us. Like I, we have our own things too. Like I, I teach music and he does a lot of music for film. Mm -hmm. Um, and, but it's nice to come together and be able to work together. Like I love that part of, of our life. Like that's my favorite thing is to do music together. Mm -hmm. Mine so too. Jason, do you come upstairs and say, hey, Nadia, I've got this little diddly, and you play it on your guitar, and then she does lyrics? Or how does that whole chemistry oh, yeah. of working? All kinds of different ways. So sometimes, like, I'll have an idea, have an idea for a song. It might be, you know, almost done or whatever, the melody's there or something. Um, but I'll, I'll run it through the gantlet of, like, um, all my guitars, different tunings, Wise and Borns, the whole thing. Mm -hmm drives her crazy. Um, <laughs> and then we were kind of set on the key, then we kind of look at it and we kind of hash it out. There's that way, and then there's... Yeah, t and I write completely differently. Like, he likes to just take his time and try different instruments, and and I'm like, I will sit there with the melody and, like, write every single lyric until <laughs> I think it's done, and then present, you know, parts of it to him, and then, and then that's when we really get to work, because mm. it's never done. That's when... He'll come with like better lyrics or fix certain things, and then, or he comes to the table with something, and and I'll be like, oh, you know that I love this part, but let's work on the melody for this part, or like I, or like I think this harmony could be better, um, stuff like that. So I think we really have different ways of writing, but it's when we come together that we make this like a really good song. We'll make it really, really better, <laughs> a lot better. <laughs> and then going out on tour now and performing in front of live audiences, really it. It's been a long time, but again, hey, it must be so fantastic. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, during the pandemic, it was like, you know, very minimal. And now we get to do it again. And, oh, and it's my favorite thing. My favorite thing is when we get to sing mm. together in front of audiences and get that connection with people and hear, hear what their thoughts on songs or hear how it made them feel, like mm -hmm. hear how it, a certain song made them feel. Um, when people come and talk to us after, like that whole that whole part of, of music is so important mm -hmm. and is, I'm so thrilled to be able to do that again. Well, Indeed. it is, yeah. Jason, now, uh, mm -hmm. Nadia mentioned that you write a lot for film. Mm -hmm. How is it different or is it the same as when you're writing music for Burnstick? Oh, that's an interesting question. Um, well, it doesn't matter what I'm writing. You have to get behind like the emotional content of a scene, right? It's the same thing for a song. You gotta kind of find that place. So it's always the forever hunt of like tones and um, feeling and connection. As a like a musician and a singer songwriter, we wanna kind of get the right melody with the right chords, with the right rhythm, with the right everything, you know, and just kind of hopefully those things unite and um, that's what you're striving for, right? Um, and it's the same thing for composing for a film. You just wanna make sure that you um, compliment what's happening and not taken away. Yes, this new album mm. it is very interesting. Okay, let's talk now about the single Closer. Uh, you've got a beautiful son. Obviously, this is a new era in your lives together. Mm -hmm. mm. How did this song, I guess, really come together and really kind of uh, encapsulate or really represent the bond between all of you as a family? Good question. This song really, I mean, our son is six years old now, so he's not like a brand new baby. <laughs> We've written so many songs about him because he's uh, such a big part of our life. Um, but when he, we, we like to talk about when he was born and when, and it was such an overwhelming day and moment. And, um, and, and when he was born, I remember the nurse sort of, you know, handing, handing him to our baby to, to Jason and saying like, do you want to say if it's a boy or girl? And, and Jason was like, where do I look? Like it was that overwhelming. Yeah. 
Yeah, I know with puppies, you, you lift them up and you look at the bottom of their feet. <laughs> I know that. I know that's how. So. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. That joke. That joke. That joke. Look out. Here it comes. Um, but it's just so overwhelming. You don't know what you're doing. And in that moment, I remember thinking, like, yeah, like, we ha- we're parents now, but we have mm. no idea what we're doing. And but there's so much love there that it's like i don't know what i'm doing but i will do anything yeah. i will do anything and even for the for this this child and and as time has gone by and now he's six and i i still feel that way and and that song was built out of that that feeling of like i will do anything for you because at, at some point in time you're going to be on your own and 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 not you're on your own at six years old but you get more and more responsibilities and more independent and and life isn't always easy and you're you're faced with harder things and i know that those moments will come but i'm going to try my best to do what i can for this for this l- person that i love and so i think it is a love song in a sense but i think it's more about what you'll do for a loved one mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. i know it's uh, and <laughs> you'll hear it later and it is an incredible song uh, this whole album now jason kenya kind of Put it all together in a sentence on what these songs represent? Um, yeah, I mean, the first one, first album, we kind of used different musicians, different studios, and um, moved it around a bit. And you can kind of hear that, I feel like, with the project. Um, with this one here, we decided that we're going to use one studio that we really enjoy um, and use the same musicians that we, we absolutely love and respect. Um, and we're going to write um, and contribute together in this thing. So that's really what it is. So you, you hear that cohesiveness that the word que- que- <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah that th- the first one I think kind of maybe missed in some spots you know this one it just feels like through and through from start to finish it's like it's, it's a powerful piece Wow so uh, I guess now going to tour um, you're on the home routes and in the month of May you're going to be in northern BC mm-hmm. what are uh, and obviously every province is different but I mean what has sort of been the gauge for you where is the most love for Burnstick and, you know, where is it a little harder to get the crowd going? That's interesting. I mean, I feel like because we're from here, we mm-hmm. have a support system here for sure. Um, but also we've done more of our shows here. So it's <laughs> it's fun to sort of when we leave Manitoba and we go outside of um, outside of the province, where we get to meet people that have never heard of us and that, you know, hear us for the first time and that are are touched by our songs or by our performances. Um, and so we did get to play in BC last, uh, for the last couple of years, and we played the Vancouver Island Folk Festival last summer. And I think that's where we really, um, we met, yeah, wonderful people that really enjoy what we, we, we've done. So we're re- super happy to be going out back out there um, for the Northern um, Home Roots tour for f- at the beginning of our album tour, basically. I'm super stoked. Yeah, yeah we, we're going to be playing um, also in Anmore Village, which is okay. kind of on top of the mountain in BC there mm-hmm. um, by Coquitlam. Um, I used to work up there as a younger man um, um, with horses. So a trail guide through the mountains with horses. So I'm really stoked to kind of return to that place again. So, um, yeah, I'm looking forward to that one. Wow. And uh, we'd be remiss not to talk about your guitar collection mm. and oh, yeah, we'll there's certain ear, guitar we'll I know what? Nadia you're probably oh this story again but <laughs> no, I, I mean it, it and a, a true testament to to tradition mm. indigenous tradition too mm. or I mean it's it's beautiful it's called a Weisenborn Weisenborn, Weisenborn. Good, yeah, good, yeah. good job yeah that particular one I just played is from 1923-24 so it's 100 years old um, my goal was to own one you know, mm-hmm. to search it out and find one. Now how many do you have, my love? Now I have eight. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, love, I love them a lot. So many um, guitars. Yeah, I have one that's uh, shaped like a teardrop. Oh, and okay. at the time, Herman Weisenborn um, was just getting into those. And I think he made like maybe 50, but it was estimated like 30, between 30 and 50. Um, but um, my goal was to always own one of those. And I ended up finding one in Germany. So we, we got it. So, yeah. Amazing. It's, m- it's mine. Um, different than playing acoustic. It's electric. so different. Yeah. It's so different. It's, it's just another beast. It's like people kind of can compare it to the Dobro, but the Dobro mm-hmm. was after the Weisenborn. Mm-hmm. Um, it's nothing like a Dobro. Dobro is Dobro. Weisenborn is like a full-bodied, like warm um, instrument. And people play different, and they sound different. Anybody who plays is going to sound like themselves. And it's awesome. I love it. It's a beautiful thing. Like we it's c- a, like the hollow neck, right? It's a hollow neck. Oh yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Well, you'll hear him 
playing the wise and born in mm -hmm. closer who would like to introduce the song go ahead <laughs> <laughs> sure well this is our um one of the first singles off of our album that's gonna be coming out our album is called made of sin which is actually the second song that that we're gonna perform today, but um, the first one is called Closer. Uh, again, it's about our son and we love it and we hope that you will enjoy it. Mm -hmm. Here yeah. it is. Well, thank you so much again, Jason and Nadia. Uh, don't forget, go out and see Burnstick and you know what, just support local music because mm -hmm. that's the main thing. Yeah. Do it. Big year for Burnstick. <laughs> Here they are with Closer. Thank you.
Hi there, we are Burnstick. We are gonna play for you guys our next single called Made of Sin. Catch us in Northern BC on the Home Roots Tour uh, in May. And as a child I dream through each night when would I find my home? It's been some time now and still deep in my heart I am making, I need you now Like a thief in the night they come and take our love Maybe I'm born with a curse or maybe I'm less than a sideways glance, so I must be made of sin. Oh, I must be made of sin. And as a child, I tramp through each night, your arms too far to embrace. May the light from your eyes never fade away I am making, I need you now Like a thief in the night They come and take our love Maybe we're born with a curse Or maybe we're less than a sideways glance So we must be made of sin Oh, we must be made of sin child I dreamt through each night these walls around me would break and the hands that loved me would find me somehow I am making I need you now like a thief in the night they come and take our love maybe they're born with a curse Maybe they're less than a sideways glance, so they must be made of sin. Oh, they must be made of sin. Oh, they must be made of sin. 